Do angels exist? In Christian theology, the existence of angels is widely affirmed across various denominations. Based on biblical teachings, angels are considered spiritual beings who serve God and fulfill various roles in the celestial hierarchy and in the interaction between God and humanity. The Bible contains numerous references to angels, indicating their existence and their involvement in human affairs as messengers, protectors, and executors of God's will. Three relevant Bible verses that highlight the existence and role of angels are 1. Hebrews 1.14, ESV, Are they not all ministering spirits sent out to serve for the sake of those who are to inherit salvation? This verse explicitly describes angels as ministering spirits sent by God to serve those who will inherit eternal life, emphasizing their role in aiding believers. 2. Psalm 91.11-12, ESV, For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways, on their hands they will bear you up lest you strike your foot against a stone. This passage speaks to the protective role of angels over individuals, assuring believers of God's care through angelic guardians. 3. Luke 2 13-14, ESV, And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. This account of angels announcing the birth of Jesus Christ to the shepherds highlights their role in proclaiming divine messages and glorifying God. Three main takeaways from the biblical teaching on angels are 1. Angels as God's messengers and servants. Angels serve God and carry out His orders, including delivering messages to individuals, as seen in numerous biblical narratives. 2. Angelic protection. Scripture reassures believers of God's protective care, often mediated through angels. This spiritual protection aligns with the broader biblical theme of God's providence and care for His people. 3. Worship and praise. Angels participate in the worship and praise of God, exemplifying the created order's response to the Creator. Their worshipful posture serves as a model for believers, encouraging a life of devotion and glorification of God. These takeaways underscore the significance of angels within Christian doctrine, not as objects of worship themselves, but as part of God's creation that serves His purposes and demonstrates His glory. Greg Gaines Father, Grandfather, Minister, Missionary, Deacon, Elder, Author, Digital Missionary, Foster Parents, Welcome to our family https colon slash slash jesusleadershiptraining.com slash about a slash.